So, you're a student at Reformed University. Welcome. In order to manage your classes, you need to learn a few functions about how our systems work. First of all, you have to gain access to our academic portal and get to all your classes. This is where all the information is stored about the classes you will be taking, the syllabi, your grades, everything. Attendance is measured in that area. So, uh, first of all, what you have to do is visit Reformed University uh, webpage runeve.edu and uh, at the very top of the page you click the academic portal button. That brings you to a login screen um, and you have to get your login information. In order to do so you can contact the business office if you're an enrolled student or you can uh, reach out to the distance education department and uh, either one will be able to help you with getting your uh, login and password to enter the website. Uh, once you have uh, entered the website, you will land on the homepage. And this is where all the classes that you're registered for will give you personalized alerts. Um, there's lots of functions, lots of little tabs, but the most important tabs I will highlight for you in this um, demonstration. Um, when you land on your homepage, you will see that there's three major tabs right here. Uh, the profile is where you can update your student's information. Um, I suggest posting a recent photo, making sure that your phone number is up to date, your email address and things like that. So make sure all your personal details are accurate. So when the school is trying to contact you, they can actually get in touch with you. The section where your classes reside is called My Courses. And once you click on this tab, you will see the list of courses for which you have registered. Now I will begin with the regular class. I simply click on the name of the course in which I'm enrolled and I land on that course page. This is the page that uh, relates only to this particular course. So first what I see is a few alerts. Um, personalized alerts again about new things that happen in class, uh, assignments becoming available, tests being due, uh, everything will come right here. This is also a bulletin board where your instructor will communicate with you and make all sorts of announcements, um, reminders, uh, perhaps, um, of, of all sorts. Uh, this is a public place for communicating, so everyone in class can see what's happening here on the bulletin board. Also, when you land on your class page, you immediately see your status and see your grade right here at the right side. Uh, you could see your progress. This is not, uh, this is a cumulative grade based on the assignments I've done so far. That doesn't mean that that's what you end up with, but as far as whatever you have turned in and whatever has been graded will be reflected uh, right here. You can also see your class time and class date, and you could see the room assignment. Um, in the first week, the room assignments might change, but uh, this is where you will find this uh, information. And so you're landing on this uh, class front page that's called Dashboard. This is the tab called Dashboard. Um, the very important part of your class is the next tab called the Syllabus. So once you click on the Syllabus, you see uh, the class information, when it begins, when it ends. This is where you could see your instructor's name, uh, course description, you could see grading categories for this particular class, so you know right away what you're expected to do. This is where you find a copy of your syllabus. Uh, and you can download the syllabus simply by clicking this button, and or you can just read it right here online. Uh, if you'd like to make it larger, you can. Uh, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, you can uh, do whatever you wish, uh, sort of say, with this syllabus. Uh, it's yours to keep for the rest of the semester. Uh, but it's pertinent information, so you have to read it uh, because if you want to know what's going to happen in this class, all the assignments, uh, it, they're going to be in the syllabus. Also, this is a place where you'll find information about your textbook. You can see on the right side of the screen, if you just click on the textbook, it tells you what is the required textbook uh, and its description when it was published, uh, ISBN. You can find this book and, and purchase it for your class. Also, all the files that the instructor is sharing with you, right here is a list of exercises the students are required to complete, uh, are right here in the file attachment. So you could see why this little tab called syllabus is so important because this is where all the important class information uh, that you really need to know right away 
is located. So you log into this page before your classes begin, uh, not on the day of your class, but actually a week or two, uh, preferably more than that, uh, before your classes begin. As soon as you register and it becomes available, uh, make sure to log in, download the syllabus, uh, start getting your textbooks. Now, uh, the file section is a duplicate of all the files that are being shared with you in this course. Uh, there are individual assignments uh, in this course, and you could see that the assignment grades are located here, and the instructor may even post comments. So these assignments have due dates. They're not just available anytime to fulfill, but uh, you can uh, you could see that as you move through the course and you're given grades, uh, these assignments will um, show up with grades. Now, if you're not taking an online class, you can skip the lesson section here, but um, and the discussions and the tests. So these are the most uh, relevant parts for you. Um, also, you could see a roster. You could see all the other students who are in class with you. But basically, this is what you need to get into your class, to download the class documents, and to realize uh, what's happening uh, as far as what you need to do to prepare. Everything should be in the syllabus, uh, but this class page acts uh, a little bit like a miniature uh, syllabus for you. Plus, it updates you about your attendance and your grade, so you don't have to keep asking your instructor, what is my grade? How am I doing? It's all right here in real time. As soon as you get graded, uh, the grades are reflected right here. Now, if you're an online student, uh, then under my courses tab, you have an online class. Uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, there's a few more things that the online students get to do. Uh, besides class looking pretty much the same, you still have your uh, grade and, and your status right here. There's a section called lessons. Uh, for online students, this is very important. You click on the lessons and you will see that as your course progresses, different lessons become active. You could see the little locks beside these other lessons. They're not available until uh, actually you have completed the previous lessons. And there's lots of assignments within each lesson. When you open the lesson, there's content right inside. So right here, you're being introduced to your textbook and uh, you actually can uh, download different documents. Once again, the syllabus is right here. In case you didn't see it or you forgot it, it's on the first page of the first lesson. Right here is an important task. You get to affirm a reading the syllabus. Uh, a lot of online classes uh, have this requirement where you basically have to take this short little miniature test. It's a simple test. It has only one question that basically says, have you read, have you not read the syllabus? So uh, this is how you actually complete assignments online. You click on the name of the assignment and you do it right there. So I'm going to affirm reading the syllabus. So since it looks like a test, it just says take now. And so uh, it, it tells me, it's warn it warns me that this is like taking a test. Uh, and so just a little disclaimer. So I click here to start. And so here's my question. Uh, I affirm that I read the course syllabus. Yes, I have. And I submit my answer and I am done. So now I can go uh, to, uh, don't worry about the 0% of the F because this is not a credited uh, Answer. But now I just go back to my first week by clicking right here to return. And here I am back. So this is where you can um, do all your assignments. Right here I'm being asked to do a reading report. So uh, considering that I have read the first chapter, I can actually go here and say, yes, I've read the first chapter. There's all sorts of assignments online, exercises, essays, quizzes, tests, uh, and you will be asked to submit all sorts of work. And this is where it's all located. It's located in the lessons. Once you've completed lesson uh, week one, you can move on to week two and there's more assignments in that area as well. So that is how you move through the course by simply going through the lessons week by week. You want to stay on track with your class. Do not fall behind. You do get penalized for um, being late with your assignments. Assignments do have specific due dates and even due times. Now, something I have to say about online classes that's very important. 
A lot of people think that online classes are easier or people think that online classes do not require the same type of rigor as a uh, regular class would. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. Um, online classes are really an equivalent of what happens uh, in a typical campus class. You just do not spend all your time in the online class at once. You log in multiple times throughout the week. In fact, the attendance policy in online classes is the same exact attendance policy as uh, it is in a regular class. When you log into uh, your online class, you could see your last participation right here in the, in the corner on the right side. And participation means actually doing something. So because I just uh, affirmed reading the syllabus, I have participated in a class. And so attendance means being active. That means fulfilling assignments, submitting things online, participating in discussions, and uh, students who are online are required to participate on a weekly basis. If you skip a week, that means you were absent. Monday through Friday is a regular week, so showing up on the weekend and doing all your work on a weekend actually does not count. That's the same thing as coming to class after it's already over. Uh, so that doesn't work. So this is important for online students, even though there's no specific uh, limited time uh, that you have to show up to class and be there for three hours and listen to the lecture, you actually still have to show up every week and do your work throughout the week, multiple times sometimes. And that is how you get registered by the system as being present. Otherwise, you will receive an absence and uh, after uh, three absences, your fourth absence, you fail the course. That is the uh, standard policy we follow. So it's very important to attend and participate. Uh, there's all sorts of assignments that allow you to do that every week. And uh, that's pretty much uh, the gist of the online classes. As you can see, it's very similar to the other class, only all of your assignments, instead of being turned in in class, are actually being turned in right here online. Uh, all the information is right here for you. Most of your questions about uh, class prior to beginning of the class can be answered by simply logging into a class page.